the number 3.142879 is between what two numbers in the thousandths place value? So first, looking at the given number, we need to recognize that this two here is in the thousandths place value. So we're trying to find the two numbers that only contain the thousandths place value that the given number would be between. So we're trying to find the number that's just less than the given number that would contain three decimal places to the right of the decimal point, or in the form, three point and then one, two, three digits. Then we want to find the number that's just larger than the given number in the form of three point, again with three decimal places, so that it contains just the thousandths place value. So I think the best way to do this is to take a look at the given number and to think how would we round this down to the thousandths place value. Well to round down, we actually just keep this a two and drop the remaining digits to the right, giving us 3.142. And then think of rounding this up to the thousandths place value, which means we would change this two to a three and again eliminate the remaining digits to the right. So we'd have 3.143. So the given number is greater than 3.142 and less than 3.143. To show this, let's plot these numbers on the number line. So let's say 3.142 is here, or 3 and 142 thousandths, and let's say 3.143, or 3 and 143 thousandths is here. Notice how the given number has an eight in the ten thousandths place value, so it's going to be much closer to 3.143. Let's go ahead and say it's right here. Now, when trying to compare decimals, it's helpful if they have the same number of digits to the right of the decimal point. So let's go ahead and add three zeros here, and let's compare the corresponding place values. Notice how the first two digits to the right of the decimal point in all three numbers are one and four. But if we compare the thousandths place value, this number has a two, and so does the smaller number. But notice how the larger number has a three, which verifies this number is larger than the given number. And if we go one more place value, notice how here we have an eight in the ten thousandths place value, but here we have a zero, which means this number here must be less than the given number. So this verifies that the given number is between these two numbers, to the thousandths place value, but when giving our answer, we do want to make sure that we only include the thousandths place value. So the given number is greater than 3.142 and less than 3.143, which means it's between these two numbers to the thousandths place value. Okay, I hope this explanation helps. Thank you for watching.